Hello again. As some of you know, I am a Sister of Mercy. And today I want to tell you a bit about the Sisters of Mercy and our foundress Catherine Macaulay. Catherine had used an inheritance she received to build a large house of mercy where she and other laywomen would shelter homeless women, give them training, reach out to the sick and dying and educate poor girls. This house was in Baggett Street, Dublin, and opened in 1827. She founded the Sisters of Mercy in 1831 to give stability to her work. She died 10 years later in 1841, by which time she had already visited Britain on a number of occasions and opened two houses the first in Bermondsey, London in 1839. The image you can see is from the second convent in Hansworth, Birmingham, and is a statue of Catherine Macaulay with Juliana Hardman, the first superior in Birmingham. Catherine Macaulay had died before Bernadette saw Our Lady in Lourdes. I think she would have been very interested to hear about what was happening there, about a lady appearing to Bernadette, a young, sick girl with little education. She probably would have wanted to visit and she would have loved HCPT pilgrimages. Our sisters are now in many areas of the world in over 40 countries, serving in a variety of ministries, with an ever-growing group of associates, volunteers and partners in ministry, all continuing on in the spirit of Catherine. There is a prayer that Catherine wrote that is called the Sushipi, or a prayer of surrender to God. Surrender to the God who loves us. I think it's a beautiful prayer and one we often use when we gather as sisters, associates and colleagues in ministry. There are some links to this post, including some song versions of Catherine Sushipi and a short video telling her story. I'd like to end today by reading the prayer to you. Catherine Sushipi. My God, I am yours for all eternity. Teach me to cast my whole self into the arms of your providence with the most lively, unlimited confidence in your compassionate, tender pity. Grant, O most merciful Redeemer, that whatever you ordain or permit, may always be acceptable to me. Take from my heart all painful anxiety. Suffer nothing to afflict me but sin. Nothing to delight me, but the hope of coming to the possession of you, my God, in your own everlasting kingdom. Amen. <laughs>